But, Claire, yeah? can you uh, check the chat? What colour should I play as? Alright. Well, I'm going to start a new game. A lag, but, um, yeah. yeah. So, how this works, uh, there's a little story in it, but I am a, a uh, wizard and I'm travelling around. Oh, look at those terrible old graphics. <laughs> Actually, still look kind of decent because it's um, you are a wizard traveling around the world of Chandler, and you play games of magic against people and build up your deck. And your goal is there are five guilds, uh, and the guild masters of each guild are trying to cast the spell of dominion, which does bad things. Uh, and there's an evil planeswalker who's trying to break in, and so you have to get a good enough deck that you can challenge the five wizards in their castles. And then once you have, you can, uh, you take on the big bad planeswalker. He has a hundred life per difficulty level that you're playing on. So uh, it's very, very hard to beat him. What actually happens is just your score is based on how much life you take off him. So, what I want to know, audience, is what difficulty level do you want to see me play on, and um, which of the five colours? Green is the colour. Green is the colour. Kakariki. Kakariki. I like green. Oh, so, if you've been playing Magic today, you might be used to what the colours do, what sort of cards there are. This is based back in 4th edition, which uh, is actually what I started playing back in intermediate school. So I'm ridiculously familiar with the cards, also because I've played this game a few times now. And so, yeah, the colour pie does slightly different things back in the day. Uh, green is the colour of card draw. I'm going to make it hard on you, she says. <laughs> wizard? I, I am a green wizard. Okay, Ask so... how hard. Huh? Do you need to know how hard, or is that... All no, 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 I'll go for super hard. Super hard, <laughs> Okay, so I am a green wizard. So yeah, green is ramp, and green is card draw. And it, well, green also has a strong enchantment theme. Also, blue is the best colour. <laughs> In this game, blue is the best colour. But I will be a green wizard. Something just went wrong. Enter your name. Well, my picture is a squiggle, and my name is... What should my name be? Um, oh, she says... Three difficulty, is it? Oh, well, I'm difficulty four, so... Oh, okay, sorry. Yeah. Right. Um, there's going to be a, a bit of a lag between... Yeah, okay. Them. I will be Calerion, who was my old elf for Warhammer. So, that works for me. Chandelier materialising. And here's me. So you can see you travel around this world, you go from village to village, exploring this map. And it's all procedurally generated. And I've got 100 coins, 49 food, I start with 10 life, and I have 46 cards in my deck. There are these amulets which you use to power special powers. So I start with one green amulet which I can use to cast the green spell which is a burst of speed. And my goal is to defeat these guys. I don't know. Can you, yeah, can you have a look please? So here is my deck, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna have a horrible deck. Oh, my deck is so bad. Um, I know you said green, but my black cards are so much better than my green cards. Oh, Colossus of Sadia though, that's pretty cool. So my first step is gonna be to sort out my deck. And now I have. So you can see I've got four colours of mana here. I've got one plains, two islands, four mountains, and ten forests. But I have got... Oh, so many colours. Now the minimum deck size is 40. So at the moment I can afford to cut six cards. And it's going to be some of this black stuff, really. In fact, I might just cut all the black because I have no swamps. Oh. You have no swamps? I, yeah. So if you play on black expert colors. difficulty, it gives you a random deck which is mostly green and then just random other stuff so i have all these actually really good black cards hypnotic spectre is amazing i've seen your vampires great um but i have no swaps um 
what do the bunnies want to eat today? Oh, I've already given them bok choy. Okay. So let's see if I can buy some new cards. Yes, I will buy all of those because they're all in my colours. <laughs> and right now, that is the most important thing of all. Uh, and you know what? I will just sell these black cards. It's... Right. Uh, let's take out a mountain. I don't need that many mountains. Let's put in a regenerate. That's really not great. <laughs> okay. Oh, let's see. So I've got 41 cards in my deck, so I can afford to take out one more card. 11, 14, 15, 16, 17. 17 lands on a 40 card deck. Yeah, that's about right. But one card, I think I will cut my Amaral Kithkin because I can't actually play a card with two white mana cost in it at the moment. I'm going to sell some of these cards to get some more money. Would you like a Coke? Oh, yes, please. So I'm just going to play a bit of this right. while Clary's dinner and then maybe she'll take over and play something short for a bit. Kickley says, I remember Zephyr Falcon and Wall of Ice. Yeah, yeah. back in the day. There's some classic old stuff here. There's the, see, there's the War Mammoth. Four mana for a 3-3 three, three trample. By right, today's standards, it's terrible, but no. back at the time, day, uh, this was like... This is good stuff. Each non-creature artifact becomes an... Oh, that's quite cool. I've got a kind of a green artifact deck going on here. Nice. Uh, it's a, I have no ramp spells. Oh. <laughs> I just, is it possible to be green without ramp? Uh, uh, apparently. These are cards I played with when my brother got me playing back in the day. Ah, cool. These are cards that I played yeah. when I found a... Um, a demo set of Magic the Gathering yeah. in the warehouse of all places back in the <laughs> 90s. Uh, so now, the different quests, this is one of the best quests, because uh, he will give you a mana link and one blue amulet if you take a blue creature spell south. Well, I want to do that because a mana link equals one more life permanently. And I've got some blue creatures okay. on my deck. Don't spell it. So, where did I want to go to? Pyrenean Stealing? Yeah, so that's just south of me, just there. So let's go there. Hey Geekly, were you here for any of the <gasps> swearing at the start of the stream? Oh. Are you tracking how much I owe in the swear jar? Oh, it was like Those who enter the domains of the mighty green wizard must pay for the privilege. Will you duel the steward? Because I can't afford to bribe him. Well, I will. And if I lose, I lose my Aladdin's ring, which is very powerful, but also eight, eight mana. Eight. And if I and... win, I get these killer bees, which would be nice. So yeah, whenever you um, start the game goes like this, you get this, uh, you flip a coin, uh, we're both on 10 life, and I get to choose whether I want to play first or draw first. I will play first, always play first. Oh, that's actually a decent starting hand, because I've got some mana. <laughs> so yeah, it's got the turn order down the side here, and you can put dots the on The bees have shields and swords? Yeah, because they're killer bees. <laughs> So I actually really like a lot of this older art. Me too. Because it's before they sort of came up with their um, sort of style guide. Mm, mm. So there's a much more just people doing whatever they wanted. Yeah, yeah. And sometimes that comes out really strangely, but sometimes you get these really sort of uh, abstract or interpretive pieces. Mm. Anyway, so I'll skip through to my first main phase and I'll play a forest. And that will be me for the turn. Now, if they play a one drop, I'm probably dead. But they don't have a one drop, so that's good. And that should be my priority, is getting a one drop. Because I'm just going to be sitting here for a while, just dropping cards. She heard three. She heard me speak three times. <laughs> oh, boy. oh, wooden sphere. So what I'd love is when these decks play cards that are absolutely awful. Like the wooden sphere. I really don't care. Because they play a wooden sphere. I'm thinking if I do more streaming I'm next year. <laughs> I'm thinking if I do more streaming next year. Yeah. I'm, I need to like find some sort of way to set up a swear jar on screen. Yeah. Oh, brilliant. Okay. Well, uh, as you can see, these decks are not very optimized at this point because we're now. I'm now up to four mana. No one has played anything except they've played a wooden sphere, and I can play either my grape shot catapult, which is a two three four, four that can tap to do one damage to a flyer. Or I could play my Hill Giant, which is just a 3-3. Three, three. Well, I'll play my Hill Giant. 
So the rule of thumb is that you just look for cards that are vaguely playable by today's standards. <laughs> Anything that is vaguely playable by today's standards will be a beast in this format. Uh, anything that is broken in today's standards is still broken there. Yeah. So there are dungeons hidden around, and if you can get to them, you can get the really powerful things like... Shivan Dragon? Black Lotus. I could just find a Shivan Dragon. Uh. Which, yes, that would be wonderful. Um, but yeah, you can get the Jewel Lands, the original, you know, thousand dollars a pop these days Jewel Lands. You can get Black Lotus. You can get all sorts of utterly broken cards. And that's great. Anyway, let's play a Grape Shot Catapult as well. And I will attack them with my Hill Giant. I'm so surprised they haven't actually played anything meaningful. I mean, they've put the Wanderlust on me, which is one damage a turn. <laughs> oh, and the Oasis will prevent one... Oh, to any creature. Okay, that doesn't matter. <laughs> okay, no, now that sort of matters. So they've got a um, Wall of Wood. I thought it said 08 for a second. I was like, <laughs> how the heck are you supposed to? Well, I'll play my Clockwork Beast now, which is a 7-4. So every turn it attacks, it loses one of its Clockwork counters. So it gradually ticks down to becoming a 0-4, and then you have to pay mana to wind it back up again. That's sort of magical. I like it. I know, right? Anyway, I'll attack with both of these. I think I just keep swimming at them at this point. Yep. They managed to save their wolf. Leviathan. Hmm? Oh, the Leviathan. Yeah, that's in here. A lot of those sort of really classic old cards. Uh, Leviathan is big. That's it's hmm. what a ten ten, eleven eleven, something something huge. And it's pretty much unplayable because it's so hmm. Hmm? yeah ten ten for ten. She says yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of things like that which is basically unplayable because they're just so ridiculously expensive. Anyway, I've won this game, which is great. Um, there's no way they can stop me now. <laughs> uh, I think I got very lucky. If they'd had a uh, Nafsas, which is a 1-1 one -one that can give you poison counters, or if they'd had a uh, Lanoa Elves, there we go. If they'd had that on turn 1, I would have taken a lot of damage before I could do anything. But as it is, this is a nice, easy victory for me. Oh, right, it wants me to trigger that Wanderlust that's an orange, so I'm going to do it. Who's the one? I do have the Colossus of Sardia, which is a 9-9 nine, nine for 9. Mm. And you've got to pay 9 to untap it every time, so it's a mm. bit... Um... Wow. Yeah. There, now there are tricks in green to deal with it, and I think I'm going to be trying to do a Colossus of Sardia deck. Okay. Because I, I've got one. But for now, I just swing with everything and win this battle and those killer bees. So back in the day, there used to be a rule of Anto, which means that you gamble cards and yeah, they took it yeah. out of the game because, because gambling. gambling is illegal. <laughs> Wait, like, it's a flying green? It's a flying green. It's a flying green. Yeah. So God. I will take the cards because, oh, I need green cards so badly. I run away. All right. Well, I will gladly fight you for another killer bees. <laughs> It's like I'm just doing the exact same duel all over again. Okay. You better hope they don't draw a land of my elves. Or a Nafsas. Well, I've got a Wall of Ice, so that's turn three. I've got a blocker going. Mm. And then turn four, I've got my regenerating mm. clay statue. Oh, unblockable 1-1. One, one. Yeah, that's mm. not great for me. Oh, dear. My deck's actually doing better than I thought it would be. Oh, and a Mistress Factory. So Mistress mm. Factory is a land that can turn into a 2-2. Oh, yeah. So that's not great for me at all. Let's go three colours. What's that? That's jumbled colours? Anyway, I have a blocker, which can't stop their dryads. If it's not Tarkir, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, no, that's from Lara. Oh, it's a lay druid who's like a Lanoa Elf, except he costs three times as much money. Alright, let's see. Let's get that War Mammoth out. Let's just start getting some of my big gun going on. <laughs> Druid select. Cancel. <laughs> Whatever, man. So 
So I'm on a bit of a clock here. Oh, there's the next set. Wow, okay. I think I just swing with my... I just start swinging and keep swinging. Ouch. Hmm? Yeah. Uh, let's go for the Grape Shot Catapult next. The clay statues are 3-1 with Regenerate, but I can't trigger the Regenerate on the first turn. So let's go with the better blocker. I thought that might be the case. Well, let's kill all their blockers. So three for one. That's not bad. Wall of Ice's boss, said Skeekly. <laughs> I really wish it was something that could attack, but there you have it. There we go. And now let's have the clay statue out. Yeah. So now, yeah, if I, I could attack with my Grape Shot Catapult, but they've got a 2-2 two -two blocker and an Oasis, so that's not very good. Do you want me to start putting pizza in your hand, or...? Yeah. Which yummy pizza did we go for in the end? Prawn, Garlic sorry. shrimp. Garlic shrimp. Nice. Or do you want um, hash bites, or...? Um... Oh, we do. Oh, okay, Garlic. that's bad. Took good pause. Ooh, cool. I think the problem is that I've got a... I've got five turns left until I die. Ooh, yeah. Now. I don't know how I deal with this. Possibly I don't. Oh well, if you die, then it's my turn to play something. But I don't die, I just lose the card that I gambled. Mm. But yes, I can't deal with the um, Tenet and Dryads, that's the big problem. Yeah, they're nasty. Hmm. Yep, that's game, really. Yeah, I can't attack into this, and they will just ping me to death with the uh, Dryads. I'll keep going just in case something happens, but I think that Aladdin's Ring is lost. It's not like he was going to use it. Much too expensive. <laughs> Why did they transform that? Oh. Ah. Oh no, they've got the Oasis. But if I go tap, kill that, they cancel it. Now it's my turn. Ah, ha -ha. Very clever. Now, see, Prodigal Sorcerer would get me out of this fix if I had blue mana. Which I don't. Oh no! Because I've got a four color deck. Oh wow. Alright. Okay. When you are ready. Oh, I've got a swamp. I thought I had no swamps. Ah. Uh, wow. And now they're attacking with everything because I die, regardless. Mm. Mm. Okay, time to concede this one. Oh. Whoa, I didn't know that you could right click. Yeah. Well, there goes my ring and. Oh, another one? <laughs> anyway, do you want to have some pizza? Yeah, let's have some pizza. No, not your wall of ice! Yeah. So is it always your best card? Mm. No, it's just a randomly chosen non-land card. Oh, thanks. Well, it looks like my goal is to stall until I get the uh, Colossus mm. of Sardia. So I think their goal will be to play, uh, oh, yeah. Oh no. Well, let's hope I draw a land soon, people. Mm. Mm. Wow. This ain't good. Mm. Mm. That, mm. by the way, is what you need with Colossus of Sardia. 
But oh. as it happens, I'm about to lose a whole lot of life. Mm. Yeah, your silent mm-hmm. decks in this difficulty are really bad. Oh. Now I need to pay that off. Yes, good. Oh, thank goodness. Thank goodness. No, now I can play my Onulet, which is a 2-2, and if it dies, <laughs> I gain two life. Which is a very useful little card. And if they attack me with the Mishra's Factory again, I'll just trade. It's a bit silly of them, really. Mm. Yeah, I think the land is more valuable. Yeah, totally. Uh, and especially in mine, because it's life back, magic. so I don't really mind. Yeah, um, the computer's not always very good at playing this. And I have two Nafs Asps, so another land would be just dandy. Did that they one. purposefully make Nafs Asp? Hard to say. I don't think so. I think the magic website used to be, like, magic.nafsasp.com. <laughs> Nafs Asp! Nafs Asp! Oh. Oh. oh my god. Okay, well. <laughs> oh my god. If I draw a land, I can turn this around. Mm. Hey, you did. Could really do with a mountain to get those hill giants out, but still, a 3 3 can munch those up one by one. Mm. And it can take out the wall of wood. And I would be worried of their five drops, except they lost their land attacking me. Mm. And that's why they didn't attack me. Mm. Brilliant. I think it's attacking time. Oh, yeah. Now, will they trade? Yes, they will. Mm. Ha 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 ha. That is wonderful. I will happily go three for one with you. And play my hill giant. Mm. And because they've now lost their Lanoa Elves, they're still stuck on three mana. Mm. Oh, they're going to regret what they just did. Mistakes were made. Mm-hmm. Well, I've got six mana now, so I could play. Mm. Uh, let's go for my vultures and my. I'm a green deck. I promise, Kiku. <laughs> <laughs> promise this is a green deck. <laughs> oh. Mm. Oh well. They lost a card. I lost a card. It's fine. And hey, my vultures get a little bit stronger. Wait, they do? Yeah, um, the vultures scavenge the body of the hill giant and get a counter. Mm. And I can remove two counters to get a plus one, plus one. Mm. So, let's attack with both these. Oh, my giant isn't actually strong enough to beat that down because they've got the, mm. uh, that thing. But I will get out my Pearl's Unicorn and my Clay Statue. Mm-hmm. Really just dropping the most creatures is the most mm-hmm. effective strategy mm-hmm. in this. Mm-hmm. Never another. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and they're up to four lands, but um, it's not going to help them much. Ooh, I'm pretty full there. Ah. Ah. Yeah, oh, actually, no. I'm super full. I have just made a miss. Take a break. Uh, do you want to go get you a cloth? Uh. I'm just going to lick it off. Would you mind? All right. Mm-hmm. Can you pop that down somewhere? Mm-hmm. Oh, oh. Uh, and there's that prodigal sorcerer that I can't play. Uh, it doesn't really matter now, though, because now I just... I just swing with everything. Okay, here you go. It's going to go. Oh. Well, um, like my nose. <laughs> I like this game. It's a real nostalgia trip for me. 
Oh, it's the killer bees! The killer bees are here to kill. And... B. But I am one mana off my Colossus of Sardia, so that's cool. Oh, yeah. I think I just keep swinging. Yeah. Maybe I'll... Oh, if I hold back the vultures, they'll just... No, I just win with everything now. Their life is so low, I just win it with numbers. Yep. That'll do it. Brilliant. Dragon engine. And I get plus one life in my next kill. Oh, great. I can trade my green amulet for a green card. So. One. Two. Three. Four. Five relevant pieces of cardboard. Hey! Hi, fair monkey! Ah, this is love for the Alright, well, let's cut all those non silly non green cards out and let's sell these white cards off for a bit of money. <laughs> but they saved your bum right there. Did they though? Oh, I've got to spill all of wood here. <laughs> uncle Istvan? Who is Uncle Istvan? He's an uncle. <laughs> His name is Istvan. And all damage dealt to him by creatures is reduced to zero. What? I love him! Oh, but he's three. That. Ouch. I still sort of love him though. I want to build an Uncle Istvan deck. <laughs> Oh, and his creature type is Summon Uncle Istvan. Back in the day, the Summon types were very... Mm, mm, mm. Oh my god. Behind us now. Great. Now, it says I've only got a 38 card deck, so... Oh, 37 card deck. Oh, it's... I need to get some more cards. <laughs> I just had a really inappropriate joke to say about Curse Rack. I won't say it, though, for children. I think we can all guess. Um, well, that's Cursed Rack. Uh, it limits somebody to a four card, four hand, uh, four card hand size. It's not actually that useful because they tend to play all this stuff. But trade green amulet for green cards. Hey, yes. Cool. And so you can see here everything that we can get. And there's a lot of. Um, so this has got the expansions added in, which has got a lot of stuff from the early sets. Oh, okay. Now, I think I would like, with one, we can only get a common. What would be a good common card to get? Lanoa Alf. Claire. What? Singing tree. Oh. Take a second, it's minus six, minus six. No, I think it's a Lanoa Alf. Totally, <laughs> easily, totally, easily totally, Lanoa totally. Alf. Yeah. Fun fact, Lenoir Elf is an anagram for War on All. Because the Lenoir Elves are... Wait a minute. Oh, Lenoir is. I yeah, was going to say, there's no E. In... War on All. And I can begin a quest if I want to. Defeat an Elven Magi and get any green card that I want. Yes! <laughs> So what's that do to my deck size? Oh, there are too many Dirkwood Boars in oh. there. Okay. 39 cards in my deck. Oh, right, if you've got under 40 cards, it gives you a random card to fill up the number. I have two Colossuses of Sardia? Well. I might just put in an extra mountain just to um, take my numbers up since I've got such an expensive curve. <laughs> a what? You remember Gickly Kitty is saying she remembers these the boars, maybe? Huh? The boars? It might be, I don't know. I don't know what the timing was yeah. on that comment. 
I go. What is COP artifacts? Oh, circle of protection artifacts. Oh. But they didn't want to write the whole thing. So there's a series of them, and they all prevent uh, damage from a particular colour. Man, yeah, this game is such a nostalgia trip. Where'd you find this game? Um, isn't it on some like good old games? I think or freeware sites. It's so. It might old be good old now. games actually. Yeah. Just... Anyway, I am going to. Oh, and now you also find these places. Which are random events. You happen upon a... Now there's a bug with this one, so I don't actually know what I happened upon. What is the total casting cost of the Wall of Water? What is this one actually called? Uh, it's just called Magic the Gathering. But uh, it's like a lot of people call it Shandala. I think it costs three. And I'm right. Haha. <laughs> what comes of having played this game so many times. Oh! Clear. Wrath of God. Well, that's quite... Maybe oh, I'm going damn. white after all. <laughs> anyway, there's my elven magi that I need to fight. And I have to risk my dragon engine. Oh, yeah. Geckley was talking about the boars and the Lanawa elves. Yeah. Well, let's duel him. Huh? Uh, let's play first. Um, it looks like... Is this the 1997 game? Yes. Um, so, fail. It looks like you can get it on myabandonware.com. Yeah. And yeah, it's fun. If you if you type in like what James said, Magic the, the Gathering Chandelier, you yeah. should be able to find it pretty easily. I think for like given that this is the first Magic the Gathering computer game, I think they did a pretty good job with it. Oh wait, no, someone in the comments says this is broken. Okay, there'll be a better Well. There'll be a better one too. Well, uh yeah. our Alvin Arch our elven uh, magi has not played anything by turn three, so I guess I'm getting in some free omulet hits. There's a bunch of abandonware sites if you just Google um, looking for yeah. this one. Wow. Yeah, should being you able to have a... Huh? Do you think I should put the ice cream in the fr freezer? or? Yeah, probably. Oh, did you get ice cream? Any... We've got the yogurt. And the ice cream already. And more ice cream. And more ice cream. Okay. You know why? Because it's Ben and Jerry's. And it's, and it's like the it. cookie dough one, and it's my favourite. Okay. Um, wow. I, yeah, there's something actually really pretty about these old school magic cards, eh? There is. It's so hilarious, because they've, you know, gone so... The art style is better now. It really is. But, but at the same at time, the same time the there's something very appealing to this old school, just do whatever <laughs> art. Well, if you are going to keep playing that, I might just do a little bit of... Um, <laughs> yeah, you do that for a bit. Get um, I mean, I'm really just playing this until we get around to playing something else. Okay. Well, I think, I think people are entertained. So they cool. are. They do seem to be entertained. So Now, they've got a 3-3, three, three, so I'll just attack with my giant. And trade. Brilliant. But I've got my boars, so that's all good. Go the boars! Piggy for great justice. Boars, 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 boars. I also have two Colossus of Sardias in my hand. Damn. Which is actually kind of redundant because yeah, that's not great. they cost nine mana and then nine mana to untap them. So, unless I've got 18 lands in play, I can't actually um, really do anything with them. It's not recycling, I think, is it? Uh, no, I just dropped. Okay. Which I'll deal with later. Claire, have you seen the Alvin Riders? Alvin Riders? What? Alvin Riders, just talking about old art. It's a bunch of elves riding oh, on wolves and got all the hats and... I like it! Yeah, and here's the giant spider. I also like how in this original stuff, a lot of it is just like, it's very iconic fantasy tropes. Yes, yes. Magic hasn't really worked out what its world building is or anything, and so you've just got the giant spider, the boars, the giant. Yeah, all the trophy stuff. Yeah, the dragon, which, oh, the dragon. <laughs> well, I'm moving rapidly towards a Colossus of Sardia, but in the meantime, I think I am just swinging with my boars to yeah. life. This is 
split that through. In retrospect, if they'd had two giant gross, that would have gone really badly for me. Well, unless they've got a fog, this is game. Um, and I think I just gamble on them not having a fog. And they don't! Woohoo! I will take those cards. Well, what do I want? I can have any, any green card that I want. Now, this is where we want to go through and look for the good stuff. This is a lot of anti-artifact hate. <laughs> the As One Jaguar is kind of hilarious. Uh, three mana, it kills a random thing. I get any green card that I want. What do I want? <laughs> hey, does anybody have any suggestions for what card I should take? I think the things I'm tempted by at the moment are the Killer Bees. Sean was celebrating Mon's Goblin Raiders just before. Oh, Mon Goblin Raiders! Yeah. Oh, I'll great. give you the chat so you can see if there's some. I love Mon's Goblin Raiders. Oh, the Urnum Jin is fantastic. 4-5 for a 4 mana creature, but it makes one of their creatures target non-war creature any opponent controls gains forest warp, uh, making them unblockable. Or, Birds of Paradise is a classic for a reason, and I think I will take the Birds of Paradise. Yeah, let's do that. Birds of Paradise. Oh, and I can see somebody's random deck. I don't actually care. What I do care about is that I now have that. And that. Let's put that one on tow. Oh, um, the wise man of the town granted me the boon of seeing a creature's deck. Which is nice, but I didn't really need to see it. Yeah, but you know, it's there if I need it. Okay, well I've now got. A, oh, I've got a forty-one card deck. I can cut a card again. Uh, let's see. Do we have anything that's just bad? I mean, I can't really afford to be very picky at this point. Twelve, fifteen, sixteen, eighteen. I still have eighteen lands. So I think I'm just going to cut. Thanks. Uh, and now I've got all. I now I've got two Lanor Elves and a Birds of Paradise. I'm doing a bit better for myself. Now I don't really know where I need to go next, so I might just uh, wander around. I might go wander to another village. There's a village just south of me. Let's see what's there. Oh, I'm in the swamps now. Beginner quest. Go east and get a white amulet. Yes, I think I will go east. Lots of black cards there, but I'm, at least at the moment, I'm just going to go mono green. Stop tempting me. Oh, to Windlass Keep. Where is Windlass Keep? Oh, it's just down there. Okay. Well, let's go there. Oh, what? Sorry? All the names are procedurally generated, so they just take a random... Uh, first half and random second half and stuff them together. Alright, uh, let's just run across here to Windlass Keep. Yay! And I can trade my white amulet for any fast effects. Any green fast effects that I want? Well, giant growth is always good. Oh, this is back when we have instants and interrupts too, which is fun. Um, uh, probably fog or giant growth, I think. Later on I want these amulets to power our abilities, but right now, I think I just want uh, cards for my deck, so let's put that in, and let's lose a card. Oh, what should we lose? Oh, let's lose a Marsh Viper. Four mana for a 1-2 is just not quite up to scratch. Claire, what do you think? What? Four mana for a 1-2? Uh, no. 
<laughs> yeah, let's cut that. And then I could go on a quest to defeat a crusader to give me fast effects. Yeah, let's give it a shot. With this one, I'm just gonna... I'm not really trying very hard with this one, I'm just sort of running around doing stuff. So, yeah, let's find a crusader. Crusader, I think it sounds like a white creature, so I will just look around down here. Let's roam the plains until I find a crusader. If I'm enchantress guarding some spells, will I duel them or will I leave quietly? Let's duel them! I'm just going to say yes to doing everything, basically. That's still playing fine. Oh, it's just the keys that aren't working on that. It's our yeah. son's keyboard. Well, turn one, Lanua Elves! Woo woo! Power play! Yep. Uh, just fail, monkey agrees that birds are paradise and awesome. <laughs> And they're so pretty! They are. You can't argue with that. Well, Lanoa Elves is going to go in for that one damage. So it looks like what I'm trying to do is build a ramp deck and then have Colossuses... Colossuses? Colossi? Colossi. So, let's keep attacking them, and I'll save that giant growth to um, kill off one of their creatures when I get the chance. Oh, or maybe they're mana screwed. Back in the day, the accepted wisdom for how many lands you should play was less than what the... They, they used to run fewer lands than the accepted wisdom is today. And so, uh, yeah, decks in this game have a tendency to get mana screwed. Let's play the birds, and the next turn maybe I will kill their verdure and enchantress. So what their deck wants to do, the enchantress uh, draws you a card every time you play a spell, or every time you play an enchantment, and so they are going to draw a whole, oh boy, a whole ton of cards off it. Which is why we are going to kill it. Ha 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 ha. But actually, it's a pretty good strategy, and we might go for that ourselves. Hmm. Slightly unfortunate there that they've got their... Um, Thicket Basilisk Scout. Old school Death Touch. Five mana for two four Death Touch, which by today's standards is actually pretty boss. Oh, and the cockatrice, which does the same thing, but it flies. That's not good, actually. Dear viewers, I might have a problem. <laughs> As I get slowly cockatrice to death. So there's an enchantment uh, that forms one of the old green combos called lure, which forces me to block. Regenerator is also pretty good. 
Uh, and so what you did is you get your basilisk or your cockatrice, you load up with lure, and then everything jumps in the way and dies. I, meanwhile, am stuck. Just trying to draw cards. Hoping I get something good. I think they might have this one. Oh, that will help. Oh, except they've got a regenerating uh, basilisk. Well, I think we still just charge with it. Oh, let's play the boars first, and then we'll do a giant attack next turn. I am running out of time slightly though, so I think my birds might have to bite the big one, just to buy me a bit more time. Oh, well, oh boy. Well, that's game. That's game right there. Oh. Oh, but I still found a nice card, so that's good. And here is that Crusader. And if I lose, I lose my Birds of Paradise. That's not good. And he has more life than me, so this is just not great. <laughs> awesome! Yeah, we should do more magic. Um, and Claire and I are looking into getting into pauper, which is commons only, but any com anything that's ever been printed as a common in magic's history is allowed. And so it's relatively cheap, but you can get some really powerful decks with it. And I have the skeletons of 20 decks down downstairs. And when I've got some spare time and money, I need to just put in a big order and get the cards for them. Or print some proxies. Oh, let's play a land. So yeah, we should do a magic-a-thon at some point. Oh, and the Crusader is having mana problems. Let's get them. Let's get them. Benelish Hero, there's a blast from the past. What a classic. Benelish Hero. Ooh, Green Ward. Protection from green. Sensible. But, uh, just at the moment, I don't actually have any green cards. At the moment, my green deck is just playing giants. Mm, the White Knight. Now with the banding here, they could actually uh, trade just the Benelish Hero for a hill giant. Or at least, that's what they think. Ha 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 ha. Go for the attack, and I think we're going to block and try and kill one of my giants. And this is where I got giant growth. I don't want to lose my giant just yet. 
And I will play my crap. Well, okay, this is going quite well. It's very positive, really. Oh, okay, now there are three, three first strikes. Slightly less positive. But they are attacking rather than defending, so that's an easy one for me. Crazy. Oh, I don't actually really want the web particularly, and I don't think I'm playing white. Uh, but right now, I think the money is worth it. So let's go back home and get some fast effects. Then again, I do have... Let's see. The top three cards we need to play is library. I do have that lovely, lovely um, Wrath of God. So maybe I do want to go wide. Yeah, let's start building up white as my backup colour, maybe. In which case, really, there's only one thing that I want, which is swords to plowshares. Swords to plowshares all the way. What an incredible card. Yeah, let's start building up some white stuff. Such a pity I sold those white cards before. <laughs> do I have? Two. Okay, well let's try and get some more of them. Now let's see what have I got here. I've got another War Mammoth. Yes, please. Oh, I've got a Wild Growth. Great. I'm not actually that impressed by the Great Shot Catapult. I can tap on more card. 15, 17. Yep, that's good. One more card. And the response is a 4 5. Very big. Really, it should probably be one of my walls. Yeah, I think it's the Wall of Ice. Sorry, guys. I know you're fans of the Wall of Ice, but I think that's one to lose. Well, let's go back into the forest and see if I can find some more good green cards. Or pick up a new quest. Oh, yep. Okay, let's do it. Yes! Yes. Yes. Oh, I don't have 60 gold. The gold. Okay, let's sell some cards here. I'm not going to be using that. I am not going to be. Oh, 200 gold. Brilliant. Um, I'm not going to be using that. I'm not going to be using that. That just helps my money go back up again. Yes. So, you're in, Forest, and you're out, Island. Yeah. Um, and then giant growth can go in, and I will lose the. Um... Maybe the wall of wood. I think my deck's got enough minor acceleration in it now that I don't need it. I'm also going to need to buy some more food sometime soon, so I might just get a bit of food now. Alright, there's that knight. Oh, and a dragon! Oh, God! I don't really want to lose my killer bees. So I'll just have to Ah, that's more like it. 
Tin one boots of paradise. Great. If they actually with green as a base, they could probably do a multicolor good stuff deck. And steal a lot of the best cards from many colors. Well, that is what. One, two, three, four mana. So next turn three, Dickwood Boars. Brilliant. Let's not bother attacking with my birds. Wonderful. I'm going to maybe this pizza. Oh, a 2-2. Two, two. How sweet. I, my friend, like four fours. Sure. Wonderful. Now, of course, they'll probably play a terror or something and kill my boars, but it was, the dream was good while it lasted. How are we going? What did I miss? Turn three, Dirk Wood. Oh, that's not good. Oh, wait, no, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Uh, turn three, Dirk Wood Boars. Oh, yeah. Why would you attack with a 4-4? Four -four? Into a bunch of fist strikers, James. What are you thinking? <laughs> Giant balls! <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven damage. Wonderful. That cleared the board nicely. <laughs> a what? I too have never gotten over goblins, Spell Monkey. Yeah. Goblins are the best. Soon you'll have a... Ah, great, and now they have only got three first striking power, not four. Why would you do that? Why would you do that, game? What did they do? Uh, it auto-casts my spell using giving me extra mana because it didn't count for the wild growth. As a result, I'm going to lose one life because mana burn used to be a rule. Oh. But every mana you didn't spend turned into life Great. loss. Oh. Ooh. Hmm? That sound effect. Anyway, I should be able to win this now with the boars unless they unless they do that. 4-3 first strike. Okay, well, I can take four. And it means they don't have a blocker unless they do something with their five mana they've got spear. Four mana they've got spear. Like Al Hajar. Why would you call your guy Al Hajar? Alright. Well, I think I just keep swinging. You miss mana burn, Fail Monkey. Have you seen Fail Monkey? But in the next set, Commander Legends, there's a commander who brings back mana burn. What? Their, and their rule is that basically that they make mana burn happen yeah. and their special ability is that they give every player extra mana. Wow. And so the idea is that you do it and then you have something to do with that mana and your opponent doesn't right. and you win with mana burn. Which is really cool. I think you could build a really fun commander deck around that. Okay. Um, should I attack with more than just the boars? What do you think, Claire? Mm. I've got the giant growths, but um, I think I'll save it and kill that sure. thing off, actually. It's just... Yeah. Brilliant. Yeah. Uh, yep, here we go. They attack with them. I will now block with my giant. And it's a giant giant. What? Giant giant? Giant giant. I know, right? Giant giant! I feel like I can just keep playing this for ages, honestly. I know you could. Yeah. But I think we are going to change to a new yeah. game soon. Actually, given the time, why don't we wait until Kiwi Tanifar shows up? I was thinking the same thing. Well, I will start putting Wingspan yeah. on my laptop. Regeneration. Brilliant. No, I say start. I'll just go to the... Let's have a... The messenger message. Regenerating giant boars. And now let's attack with my regenerating giant boars. And I'll just slowly chip their board apart. 
Oh, this could actually... Yeah, this could actually kill me. Okay, birds of paradise, so it's time for you to die. Bye-bye, birdie. Quack, 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 says the ducks outside. This actually could wind up being closer than I thought. So Fun Monkey says, I had a Citadel of Pain deck um, specialised in using all its mana each turn. Ah. Uh, there is one really annoying deck in here that the, uh, uses cards that increase the amount of mana that each player gets, and the whole idea is that it mana burns you to death. Oh, this could actually get really Ooh. tight. Um, this actually could get quite hairy. If I block, they kill my hill giant. I think my correct call is to not block and to be on one life. Yep, that was the correct play. Now I attack with my regenerating boars. Ooh. They killed that, Mouse and I still have a blocker in case they played a swamp. Whereas if I did it the other way around, I would die. Right, yes. Right. So hill giant blocks. Oh, and they don't. Oh, yeah, they've got the nightmare. Okay, that's not good. Well, that is what we call in the business game over. Oh no! It's a flyer. Can't block it. Ooh. Um, I can swing in for. Um, I can get another three damage in, but I can't seal the deal. And then they kill me on their turn. You know what? No, you can't kill me. You'll I'm never take. Gonna... You'll never take me alive. You wow. say you like mana burn. Wow. Wow. <laughs> And I just lost my killer base. Oh. Oh no! I don't actually mind about losing Colossus of Sardi, and I wouldn't mind giving them swords to plowshares, so it's good. They have first strike, which means that they're going to play first. Oh okay. my goodness. A lot. This game. <laughs> yeah, it, it's actually quite ah. hard on this difficulty. I just realised you can't see our, um, you can't see your life total because of where the, um, I've got like a gaming for charity logo where you're like, oh totally right that's not good well maybe you just need to narrate it I am on 11 and they are on 14 thanks for the follow foul monkey whoop whoop okay uh, let's get some bits of paradise out ah. well I've got lots of ramp the and then I've got some nice big creatures so that's okay um uh, not fond of the uh, crusade that they've got early on, but uh, next turn I will have five mana to play around with, which is a 4 4 Duke with boars. Let's get those boars out, shall we? Still slightly awkward situation here where they've got um, all their banding blockers. So they will lose one of their blockers in exchange for my one boars. But, uh... Oh, and now they've got protection. From the oh, okay, so that's a 3-3 unblockable now. That's a problem. Uh, let's have a... Let's have a hill giant so I can at least block. Though they are fist striking, so that's not good. Yes, this is uh, slightly unfortunate now. Well, I'm up to five mana. It looks like my Graham strat is basically just stall. Stall, stall, Colossus of Sardia. <laughs> so let's see if I can do it. Oh, okay, two pikemen. That is, that is enough on the board to kill a Colossus of Sardia. Uh -huh. It's 
really is not great for me. Okay. I wonder if I can lure them to a false sense of security and use my giant roast to finish the game. Actually, you know what would have been really great right now? What? The killer bees that I lost. No! I know, right? Oh no, the Rainbow Knights are also protection from green. So they have a lot of protection from green stuff on the ground. Wow. That's our problem. What a jerk. I know, right? What that's a just, jerk. Oh, I didn't sleep in there. That's not Monarchy. You're the only person I know who says that. It's an Oruwa College thing. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> because they made such a big deal about Monarchy being the school's thing. And so it became a joke of okay. something bad. Anybody does something that's not nice and it's, okay. that's not Monarchy. Okay. okay. Um, I still don't really see any favourable attacks here. Well, let's just keep slapping out bits of cardboard and bits of digital cardboard. And see what happens. <sighs> but I suspect that what's going to happen is that we will. Um, I think we're in a stalemate, and that uh, soon we will have. Uh, oh, fourth or first. It's a lot strike. of knights and stuff. It's a James. lot of knights, and I've got a lot of stuff too, and they're just. No one wants to attack. That's six mana for me, though. Then again, they now have enough fist striking power to be able to take out a Colossus of Sardia before it can even hit them. Which is pretty scary. I think we just keep playing stuff and they keep playing stuff until uh, I get something or I dick myself. Right. That's not a great strategy, but no. it's the strategy I've got. Can you tell me cards you've got left in your deck? Yes, you, uh, you can right-click on your deck. Oh, okay. another protection from green. They get protection from a random color, but their random color is me. <laughs> I have 25 cards left in my deck, and they have 46. Oh, wow. Okay, so, yep, you're going to be decking first. I'm going to be decking first, so it's a long time until decking yeah. happens. Um, and I think... If I get enough to play that Colossus, I think I'm just slapping them down, yeah. charging, and hoping that they miscalculate because of yeah. giant growth. Yep. Yeah. Otherwise, my clay statue regenerates, but that does take it out of the combat. So he'd just charge yeah. it and regenerate, and that would be that. Oh! Each untap creature you control gets plus zero, plus two. <laughs> Oh, attacking. Wow, this deck is really hard. You know, I think now is an excellent time okay, to go and put labels on Arthur's clothing. <laughs> I think so. I'll, I'll bring them in here anyway. I'll just bring a yeah. pile of his clothes in here and just start um, writing on the labels. Well, this looks like it's going to be a very boring game. <laughs> That's how it goes. Well, I'm up to eight mana. So one more land and I've got my Colossus. And then they can first strike it into oblivion. Don't tell me I'm going to die to the Dancing Scimitar. Oh yeah, I am, aren't I? That said, that's what I need. Oh, one seven. Grief. All right, that'll do. Um, next turn, Colossus of Sardia. But uh, yes, unless I. Oh no, they're going for it. They're going for it. 
They're, they're attacking. Really? Yep. Are they actually in a position? Oh, you'll like this, Claire. Yeah. See how they've got too many creatures? How can I see what's at the other end? See this little mouse here? Run, 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 So the first problem is that they have got way, way too many first strikers. Okay, so that doesn't first strike, so let's block it with a boar. Oh, fast effects. No, no fast effects yet. Let's Did go. Did you just swear? What? No. Oh, okay. I thought I heard a swear. No. Though I did talk about mana. Uh, what happens if you don't have enough mana? And I'm wondering if that counts as a swear. Mana S. You yeah. told me it was a swear! You swore! Yeah, okay, then you can count me down for another, what, one, I think? Alright, fine. So I'll swear jar okay. is at $9 now. Yeah, next I've got a clay statue, so it can block him. Oh, you're only... Yeah, that's fine. Uh, your protection from green, so I can't actually block you unless I do it with a giant. And that means I've got four damage coming at my face, which I think is acceptable. Though I could always put down the dragon engine. Oh, but no. Just getting all his drawers out and just sort through his clothes. Brilliant. Let's leave it at that. That will do. Ah, uh, yep. I knew it. All attacking creatures get plus one, plus one until the end of turn. Well, that throws my maths out. All right, so... You're losing, you're losing, you're losing. Well, let's just decide what I want to kill the most. Uh, so it's down here, and it's one of these two. I th well, I think I want the Duke with Boars to survive more than I want the, um, the Hell Giant to survive. So... Well, that cleared the board up a bit. But also took a huge chunk out of my life and didn't really do their board significantly. I think at this point they could pretty much finish me off with uh, Rainbow Knights, so that's a problem. So if I played the Colossus, I think they just kill me. I think I have to go for the plant. Then again, I think they pretty much just kill me regardless. I think the three protection from green people. Yeah. Okay, so my well, my dragon engine can block them, and my clay statue can block him, and that will do me. Oh, they've got another one of those. Brilliant. Okay. <sighs> Colossus of Sardia. Oh, it starts off on top. Yeah, I played it. It doesn't actually matter because I'm dead, but uh, it's still satisfying. They just have too many things with protection from green, too many uh, buffs for the entire team. They just have too much stuff for me. Oh, but they don't feel like attacking, so that's interesting. Not even with their flyer, which could kill me in three turns. Uh, well, do I attack with my 9-9? Nine -nine? Signs put nine -nine. Two... No. Because I need. I think that's what's holding them off at the moment. 9-9. Nine -nine. Yes, I have the Brooklyn 9-9. Nine -nine. Woohoo! Cute mouse. I said Geeky Kitty. It is a cute mouse. But yeah, said they're... capitalized Geeky Kitty. 
I don't think I've ever played with anti too much. Yeah, no, it's it's a very old school rule. It's very old. Um, the last card was on Homelands, which is. Uh, I think also they didn't. Card. I think worldwide they didn't really push it as a rule no. because of um, local gambling laws. And also, like I know, back when I was playing in primary school, no one ever played with Ante. We all just school, had, because the thing is, like, remember, unofficial. primary schools and stuff were banning card games because of yes. the gambling aspect. So uh, actually, so of, I remember it being more about people complaining about cards getting stolen. That too. Yeah. And so rather than deal with thieves, they dealt with the people whose cards were getting stolen. Yeah, schools such fun, right? I know, right? <laughs> well, uh, I think I'm dead unless I do something. I'm just going to so, out in a pile. if I'm dead unless I do something, let's charge. A bunch of these clothes that have grown out of. Oh. All right. Oh, jeez. Even with. A 12-12 Colossus of Sardia. He's only taking down two guys before he dies. Damn. Ooh, that's some new plants. He cleared the board a bit, but uh, let's just concede this game. Oh. This game is just embarrassing. So when is the tide going to say when is it going to sort of overwhelmingly go like you're winning every single game? Uh, in hard mode, it can take a while. Yeah. Uh, I do see, however, that they've got some planes for sale here. Oh, that, yeah. When I started playing, I was the only girl at a magic camp I went to. There was a magic camp? There was a magic camp? There was a... What? How did I not know about this? Good God. All right, let's... Four of those in. Let's drop that and... I think it's time to drop the uh, mountains and that hill giant. And let's start filtering to see what we've got. It was organised by a teacher I had. You had the most awesome teacher Your ever. Your teacher rock. Down. Okay. War mammoth. How many war mammoths do I have at the moment? Alright, what's that do to my... I've got a 38 card deck, so I'd really like to put in a bit more. Agree, she says. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, I don't think I want to put in a crusade, because I have no white creatures at the moment. And that's just a little too aggressive on its mana costing, so I will put in... I will put these walls back in. I know you all wanted to see those walls, well, they're back. Huh? I can't oh, believe Arthur's got chains. Mum would love those. I need to lend those, uh, um, put those in his bag next time she babysits him. Well, here's another undead knight. Here is another undead knight. Let's go for it. If I can beat him, I win my quest. I do appreciate how easy it is to get up to um, to drop your um, mana accelerators in this one. Yeah. Dragon Engine! There's so many one mana mana ramp cards. It's great. Hypnotic Spectre. Oh no, it's Al Hajaj. Al Hajaj. Uh, there's, there's no pronunciation. He was the name we don't like to say. Hedge Well, it's not good anyway. Oh, I'm just out of frame. Hmm? Oh no, I'm sort of in. Oh, and yes, I, I'm on 11 life, and they are on 11 life as well. So that's cool. I like the art for the Dragon Engine. When they finally did the story later on, they ruled that Dragon Engines were... 
dragon statues the size of a city and Whoa. uh oh three two life linker suddenly looks a whole lot scarier um i let's see i'm tempted to block and kill it but my dragon engine's going to die because of the spirit shackles i think i might just get it through and i will leave the dragon engine to trade with it next turn and I'll have my War Mammoth go on the warpath. War Mammoth on the warpath. Cute. I know, right? I do like the War Mammoth. It's such a sort of the iconic green card. Oh, okay. They have a 4-3. Oh, well. There's only one cure for a 4-3. And it's a... Or I could just kill it. You know what? I could just kill it. Let's yeah. do that. <laughs> Goodbye, Al oh, Gosh, I mean, it's loud. Uh, and we'll send the dragon engine in for another attack. Yes, it dies next time it taps, but I'll just keep it as a blocker from here. See, I've learnt now not to auto cast when I've got a wild growth out. And meanwhile, they power up my war mammoth. Thanks. You know, if they don't block, I just win. Done. Nice. Ooh, City of Brass, very nice. Does one damage to you when it's tapped, but it adds any colour of mana. Alright, let's get back to Celestine Village. Yeah. I'm actually tempted to pay him off, but I don't really care about that wall. Lanawa Elves, Lanawa Elves, let's all play the Lanawa Elves. <laughs> Good old Lanawa Elves. Okay, uh, dead Lanawa Elves, as it turns out. Well, let's just save those Lanawa Elves. I guess if they're only good for one thing, then I'll either use them to block or I will throw them away for a mana acceleration. Getting a Clockwork Beast one turn early could be good. See, so that puts me up to four mana. Let's have a Wall of Ice. Just hide behind all my walls. This game gets a bit repetitive. I don't know, you keep narrating it, so that's pretty good. Yeah. Oh, you've got a 4 2. Bully for you. I have a 0 7 wall. Now, I could always giant growth and kill their thing off, but I'm not really frightened of a 4 2 that doesn't swamp walk. <laughs> I think I'd rather save it for a better occasion. Five mana. Next turn we've got our Clockwork Beast. Yeah. Now I see the Lost Soul could kill it, but then... Oh, and there's the problem. And then they played their Marsh Gas and made their own creatures suck. Why would you do that? Why would you do that? Oh, right. Well, thank you. And now there are four two. If I do that, I will still run afoul of the marsh gas, so let's not do that. Uh goodbye, Lano Elves, you have served me well. But I get 
my 7 and 4, which is what I wanted. Ouch. Okay, that's bad. Suddenly I sort of wish I'd killed them off and I had a chance. <coughs> well. Do you trample? You do not trample. Well, that's me losing this battle then. I sort of wish I'd played that giant growth now. Oh well. But no, I think that's game. That that is game. Is it because they've got a lost soul on a flying carpet? Oh dear. I need to put something in to counter that. You know what? I might put that web in. <laughs> My downfall has been flyers every time. Alright, let's go up to Samuel Shrine and see what we can get there. Oh dear. I might have a problem. Have a look at my hand. All I have is oh! and an enchant creature. Talking about regeneration. Talking about regeneration. Yeah. I love the art for regeneration. Quinton Hoover, alas, is no longer with us, but his style is so like I like the Wall of Wood. It's it looks fine, but I love Quentin Hoover's art. Yeah, it's just oh wow, it's just such a strong style. Yeah, and he's a real classic of early card games like this one, like um, uh, Middle Earth: The Wizards, which oh, is yeah. one I love. He's got a few wonderful pieces in there too. He just does really gorgeous art. It's interesting when you get a card that really pops. Some of these basic lands, like this plane, just looks very dull. Sorry, just for my fits. But then uh, this forest, I think, still stands up as a really cool one. All the flowers and the... Ooh. Yeah, right. What's so we got? That one's a little bit more boring, but it's still quite nice. Uh, what's the other forest look like? No, it's the only forest. We've seen. Oh, that's the other forest. Which, yeah, I think all the forests still look pretty mm. good. <laughs> Just sit here playing land. Well, it's nice to know that if I draw my Colossus of Sardia, I can play it. I can't have it feel the best thing I'm to do. I might be to just lose my uh, green altogether. <laughs> no, you are challenged to be green. I am challenged to be green. Wanderlusted. Well, that's okay. Kiwi Tony Farrow's stuck. Kiwi Tony Farrow's what, sorry? Awake. Oh, okay. really want me to go wandering, don't they? Oh, wandering we should go. Wow, that's... Oh, well, all I need really is one Dirkwood Boars that they can't deal with. So I'm on a four-turn clock, they're on a two-turn clock at the moment. That said, if they can just play some blockers, four turns and I'm dead. That's not so good. Mm. Yep, there's a blocker. So that will now take me three turns to kill them. Uh, ha! That's what we need. 
another threat. Because just attacking with a 4-4 every turn, if they just keep blocking me, then that's game. Well, good for you. You have instilled... Why didn't you do that the other way around and gain some life? And they've got some killer bees. Well, let's just keep swinging. Just keep swinging. Just keep swinging. Great. So unless they can play two creatures, they've lost. But if they play one, they've gained some life and then they can block my boars and... Uh, maths. Sometimes playing magic feels like that meme of the woman working out all the cupboards. <laughs> Yep, so I have to win the game this turn, which I don't think I do. No, I think they win. No. Yeah, they do. They block my boars. I get three damage through, dropping them to one life. And then they do anything, and I die to Wanderlust on my turn. Screen deck is really not doing very well. Yep, and then I die. There goes my kill spell. Geekly Kitty, are you saying sorry because you made him choose green? <laughs> she just said sorry. You didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kind of tempted to load up my other game that I've got going on, actually. Yeah, because you're so much further through. I'm so much further through in my deck is... So yeah, there is this sort of time early on where you're just scrambling to put together a good deck out of whatever scraps you can salvage. And once you've got a good enough deck, you can yes, then start doing says, things. That's why she's apologising. <laughs> yeah, you know what? I'm just gonna... Let's just... Mm, let's just load. I kind of knew green would make it hard, she says. Yeah. I mean, the challenge was... So this is my other game that I've got going on, where I have a blue deck. This is also on expert mode. And you can see here I've got some very good cards. Um, four underground seas, two time walks, uh, ancestral recall, two moxes, five, nearly 6,000 gold, more if I actually bothered to... Uh, anything and I'm trying to get up north where I know there is a black lotus available. Oh you actually chasing me? I don't really want a black amulet at this point. Yeah this deck on the other hand. Yeah this is now what's happening with the enemies. Will you accept tribute for your mercy or change your anti card? I'll accept tribute for my mercy. Would you like secrets from the green castle? Three white jewels of jewel anyway. I will take the three white jewels, which powers the most useful ability. Oh, cute. Hey, look, they're like, um, there's a nice color. Now, I haven't actually played many red decks on this. Now, you see, I've also, um, well, you don't see. In the other game, I was on 11 life. In this game, I am on 20 life starting. Uh, so, Mishra's Factory, Mishra's Factory, uh, Mox Sapphire, Black Lotus. You know, if I played Ancestral Recall on them, that might actually be game. Uh, I will make them draw three cards, putting them on ten cards in their hand, and then Black Lotus will hit them for six damage, dropping them to four. And that's game. Whoa. How many turns was that? This is turn one. They're on four Jeez. life and they will take... They'll die on the start of their second turn. She D. That does not count as swearing. 
if I sit down. Okay. There we go. Turn two, I attack them for two damage, dropping them down to two life. And they are dead. Oh, another round. There. So all I'm trying to do here is make my way north to Unicorn Shrine. I'm about halfway. Okay. You notice the enemies are now running away from me mostly. And I've got much tougher enemies. This guy has got uh, 27 life. Let's start the duel. Okay. Island. Mox Jet. Black Vice. Black Vice is completely overpowered. Oh yeah. Oh, my island is now a swamp. That's actually kind of a pain, but... That one. So this deck focuses on prodigal sorcerers. Um, a good trick in this one is to find some common that's pretty good, and then just buy a ton of that common early on. <laughs> And when you've got Black Vice, one fun thing that happens is your opponent will be so desperate to get rid of cards in their hand that they will do this. Clear. What? They played that on me. Oh. Because they didn't want to lose one life to Black Vice. Oh. They gave me a 3-2. Uh, Seriously? Yep. That's amazing. Well, That's... Uh, I, uh, should I time walk? I don't know if I would play that. Uh, what does that do? I think I'll time walk. I get another turn. Oh, damn. And that'll just knock another... That just knocks another bunch of life off their total. And also draws me an extra card. Just gets me a bit more set up. Really, I'm trying to draw into like another island so that I've got my counter spells ready. Yeah. Are they saying anything about how much more ridiculously powerful this deck is compared to the other one? Not yet. Not yet. Oh, right, you changed your save game. I changed, I went to my save game. Okay. Uh, this deck is kind of brutal, honestly. Yeah. I want to get rid of the Zephyr Falcons, so I'm just trying to get better cards right. than I can. But they're there for the meantime. So, yeah, they're, all they've played so far is they've made my guy stronger and they turned my island into a swamp. Man, we've got a Mr. Men. I didn't even know that. Do we? Oh, we do. That's Mr. Bump. You know, he is Mr. Bump. Uh, you know what? I think I'll just let them kill my Zephyr Falcon. I don't care enough to cast spell. Save that for actual problems. Just marvelling at the domination of this deck. <laughs> Thank <Yep>. you. Thank you. <laughs> it took you how long? Uh, I've been playing this game for a while, yeah. quite a while. Also, all the final bosses have life totals depending on what difficulty level you're playing. So on this difficulty level, you know what, 3-2, 2-2, uh, two, two, no, let's count it. Don't want. Oh, yep, that'll do it. Uh, Ancestral Recall, you can draw three cards. Prodigal Sorcerer attacks, and that will be game. Filthy Thanks. blue player says Fail Monkey. Oh yeah, this is the filthiest of blue. This is as filthy as it gets. Ah, now see, they send people to attack the towns, and that's why I need these white stones. The other thing I've been doing with this game, which I haven't, didn't do with the other one, is I've been saving it a lot. <laughs> Oh, it's a shapeshifter. I hate shapeshifters. They are a real pain for my deck. They do a lot of things that my deck is not equipped to handle. And that's just a pain. Like those Mishra's factories. It's just not really set up to handle them. Alright, I think I'm going to use that Ancestral Recall on me, because I would really like to play a land on turn two. Great, that's better. And let's, um, actually, let's Zephyr Falcon. No, let's Time Walk. 
Because the thing that's going to save Let's me here is going to be getting out my prodigal sorcerers. And so that just gives me the extra time that I need to get my first one out. And once I've got a couple of prodigal sorcerers out, I can use them to snipe out their measures factories. Okay, that was whatever. Um, I could replay my Black Vice, uh, and it's actually, yes, let's do that. Let's replay my Black Vice, and I'll play my Zephyr Falcon. Sound effects on this game is so cute. <laughs> Makes that vaguely splashy sound when you replay an island. Okay. That should do the trick anyway. For every one damage dealt to you by an entire creature, backfire does one damage to me. Well, I have more life than you, so I don't care. Uh, let's get my other prodigal sorcerer out. Yeah, it's not as slick as Arena, but for a game in 97, it's pretty rad, really. Oh, yep, they are activating their Mitra's Factory. And they are unstably mutating their Mitra's Factory. <laughs> Twice. Okay, do I feel like losing eight? I don't think I feel like losing eight. Let's throw my Zephyr Falcon away. Goodbye, Zephyr Falcon. You were the best of us. But you were also the worst of us. And that's why you were the one who got to die. There are some really cute clothes here that I have completely forgotten existed. <laughs> Yeah. I think I need to find a way to cycle through Arthur's clothes. Like how I cycle. Um, pretty good TBH. A uh, pretty good AI TBH, says Cat. Yeah. It, it doesn't always get it right. Sometimes it makes some pretty dumb plays. But uh, again, 1997, Magic is a pretty complicated game. So, uh, yeah. But yeah, I now feel pretty confident. I've got two prodigal sorcerers that can blow up their Mishra's factory if they transform it again. I've got a handful of counter spells and control magics. I have almost twice as much life. Oh, look, they played a 2 2. How cute. <laughs> you know what we do to 2 2s? You know what we do to 2 2s around here, boy? We could not. With our prodigal sorcerers. We all like a 2 2. I'm sorry, what? Rude. Anyway, let's get some more um, black Wait, aren't up. boars 2 2 anyway? What? No, the boars are 4 4. Oh, the Dirkwood boars are 4 4. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's what this deck does. It's a classic blue deck. It just sits here and stops your opponent from being able to do anything and then slowly pokes them to death. Uh, if you were playing this in an actual paper game against an actual paper opponent, you would be a horrible person. <laughs> oh, that's forgivable because you're playing against a computer. Yeah. That said, I did just you make know, a mistake. Absolute and I, uh, I should have... Uh, Save the blue minus I had a counter spell up. Alright, that's fine. They are attacking me. Well, in response, that was a playmaker's mistake from the uh, AI. And that was the point of my prodigal sorceress. Blow that out of the water. Oh, what was that? Someone has messaged. Oh, I thought it was me. Oh no, it's um. This one. 
Yeah, don't worry about it. I'm checking it. Oh, it's a notice from the library saying oh, okay. that your book is here. That's what it is. Oh, which book is that? Um, that would be... Thank you. Uh, Lindsay Ellis. Oh, sweet. I want to read that. You are never, ever going to get around to reading to you. Yes, I will. Anyway, the movie's been delayed to next year. Yeah, so exactly. that's... Three prodigal sorcerers, so anything they play that's a 3-3 three, three or weaker will just die. My son has too many t-shirts. Wow, how have we never put him in his Thomas shirt? What? He's got a Thomas shirt. Oh. Now, of course, with all these shirts, are we going to have a problem when we wind up gifting them to other people after he grows out of them? No, oh, I forgot to use my sorcerers. A bunch Whoops. of them have kids' names on them already from other, um, uh -huh. other people. All right, well, let's just finish them off. Uh, let's not bother to summon that. I'll play a device. So I actually need to remember to use my sorcerers to finish them off. <laughs> but yes, they're pretty much on a two-turn clock now. Uh, do I want them to have that? No. At this point, I just don't want them to have blockers. I should have just used a prodigal sorcerer to deal with them, but I sort of want to just finish them off. Oh. Get all this. <laughs> Our son baby... has a tiny Metallica t-shirt. <laughs> tiny Metallica shirt. I don't even remember who got him that. That's cute. That is cute. I think he's big enough for it now. Okay, they did it on my turn. Unless something happens, but I do have a counter spell. I don't care if you play an ivory tower. You can hide in your ivory tower all you like. Yeah, you're a wizard, man. You're all about them ivory towers. Ivory tower, uh, you gain life every turn for every card you've got in your hand above four. They have one card in their hand. <laughs> I don't care. Yeah, I'll fit him. There we go. And they die to a barrage of prodigal sorcerers. It's so hard to tell which um, pads will work for him and which ones. Oh. So you know a how, very skinny baby. You know how my goal was to get to Unicorn Shrine? Yeah. Got halfway there, and then they sent a person to attack Cold Snap Mill. And I teleported back to fight them, and Cold Snap Mill is back on the other side of the map, back where I started. Oh, that's so annoying. So I now have to charge all the way back up north again. That's really... Oh, well. Here we go. Feet the country, I get two blue amulets. I don't have blue amulets. more cards in my hand, so... Let's do that. Ooh, black vice, three damage to <laughs> He's now big enough for this, James. Says, my <laughs> mum is awesome! That is true. Damn straight. She is. Are we counting that as swearing? No. Damn is not a swear. Grow up. Not no. Grow up, yeah, big baby. Yeah, big girls, blouse. It's insulting your husband, can't I swear? <laughs> no, especially not when I'm insulting you in classic <laughs> Kiwi insults like girls' blouse. That's kind of gendered. <laughs> I know, I did it on purpose. 
<laughs> I'm being ironic. <laughs> Ooh, right. Well, this is a really uh, dull way to win the game here. You know, whatever works. Um, I might just check in with um, oh, whoops. a certain oh. stream mate of ours I ought and see if it would be an idea for you to move on to a different game. Something more exciting, something fresh for you. Sure, yeah, this is getting a. I'm starting to make play mistakes because I'm getting bored. <laughs> yeah. That's a problem. Also, because I need to go to the bathroom. <laughs> this is really sad. Celestine Spire. Well, I think I'm going to Celestine Spire anyway. Um, you know what? Yeah. You know what I reckon? I reckon you... I've, I've just asked, but just in case she's too busy, um, I reckon she'll put the game, save and quit the game. And then I reckon you should play a bit of Pac-Man. Right. Um, well, I'll play some Pac-Man while you're in the bathroom, and I'll play like literally five seconds of Pac-Man while you're in the bathroom. It's any more than that, and I will start adding more money to the swear jar. And we are, we do need another fifty dollars to reach our yeah, target, yeah, 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 so I you know, could but, just well, no, it's go fine. potty mouth. It's fine. No, I'm not gonna go potty mouth. <laughs> I love go. how all these enemies attack us and then say they will. Oh wow. Um, oh jeez. Absolutely nothing. None of that. Nothing That's whatsoever. Amazing. Take his birds of paradise. Sure. It's got blue water in it. Anyway, um, yeah, you should you should play. Um, okay. Well, Batman I will just. Um, and or you should play either. Yeah. Um, there are two games I'm really excited to see you play. Yeah. One I'd rather watch than the other one. Um, huh. Short hike I played really recently, so I don't need to watch that one. But I really think you should play it. It's a lovely, wholesome little game. Right. Uh, the other one is Costume Quest, which I do want to watch you play because it's been yeah. about eight years since I played it and I love it. Okay. Well, uh, I will, I've will. i just got a quest to go deliver a message. So I will go deliver my message. The other thing I could do while you're in the bathroom is start loading up the tabletopia for when we do finally get to that. Yeah. Which depends on our stream buddies. Now, um, there's an argument against time walking right now, but I think there's also an argument for it. So I'm going to time walk so that I can play another land and accelerate myself that little bit. Getting me a prodigal sorcerer, which can single handedly take out my opponent's entire board as it stands. We've got more games on Tabletopia, possibly. Oh, great. Yeah. More than just wingspan. Huh. So thank you for that, Geekly. Thank you. That sounds awesome. So, that sounds awesome. That's exactly what I was going for. <laughs> All right. Well, let's start taking a lot of the one by one. Save and quit. Yeah, you like I said, I am just planning to um, slowly. Uh, fight my way up to the uh, uh, Oh look, place. when he's three he can wear this. Oh. Well, probably I'll sooner I'll have to wear a Spider-Man costume then. Says my dad is my superhero oh. and yes, you'll have to. Actually no, he'll be too young. You've got a narrow window, James. Yeah, never too young to get embarrassed by your dad. <laughs> well, I mean I think you're too young to understand the concept of being embarrassed. Yeah. But there'll be a point in time where it'll be embarrassing for him. Well. Ah, oh, my child owns so many clothes. And I have to play a oh. oh. 
well, I think my opponent has mana problems. And I think those mana problems are being exacerbated by the fact that all their birds and elves are getting slowly shot by my wizard. This wizard has now taken out, what, three of their creatures? Single-handedly. So, good on you, wizard. Good on you, mate. Or dress as the doctor. Yeah. Is he a superhero? I mean, he is, but is he? But he I mean, he is. Yeah, little kids would think so. Yeah. Well, that's all that matters. He's got uh, a costume that he wears. Oh. He's got superpowers, control of time and space. Um, he's got a magic wand. He's got a secret lair. <laughs> yes. Emphatically, Geekly Kitty says, yes, the Doctor is a superhero. Yeah. Well, my... Lanoa... Uh, my prodigal sorcerers will be doing what so well for me. Let's have another one. It's really quite sad. They've lost so many creatures to prodigal source. Tim the sorcerer going pew 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 pew. That's right, he was Tim. That's the nickname for this card, he's Tim. Monty Python. Yeah. There are some who call me Tim. <laughs> <laughs> um, how do we get our hands on Old School Thomas for Arthur? Old School Thomas? The tank engine. What, do you mean the books? The, no, the, well, the TV show. Oh, right, yes. Because, yeah. like, we can only get the... The Ringo Starr one. Yeah, that, that's the one. Yeah. You want that one? I want that one! I don't know why I still quote Little Britain. It's been so long since I watched it. I still haven't actually beaten any of the wizards in this game, though. Wow. So are they, like, the top? Yeah. Uh, and in this difficulty, they've got about 40-something in life. I think they start off with about 50 life. Right. Uh, 40. Yeah. And so... It's... And what's the big bad? 100 life. Arzakon has 400 life in this difficulty. What? So he's basically unbeatable. Um, though there are ways to do it. And I'm, I'm not sure if I can be bothered... Because uh, you've got to get multiple copies of the big spells to be able to do it. Geekly Kitty, it's so weird how, like, still, like, probably a decade since I've watched a single episode of Little Britain, I still, like, get quotes from it happening all the time in my head. Like, as someone who works with computers, of course I say computer says no all the time. Like, all the time. I even say it to Arthur when it's not even about computers. I just say it, like, when I'm saying no to him, I'm like, computer says no. That show it has just like entered my brain and won't leave. I don't really need any fast effects. Well, I said my goal was to uh, get there, right. and I did it. So, that is a lot of clothing. So let's save the game. And swim into and well, let's see the wizard stats too. So yeah, every time you beat someone, a skull shows up in front of the wizards. And so you can see here, and, and it drops their maximum life. Uh, and so my goal is to oh. knock down their life to a more realistic amount. <laughs> Sorry, I'm laughing at what Geeky just said. Mm -hmm. I would always think the computer says no when you 